Welcome back to Android Q&A. My name is Jason. This is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions. Like, is the HTC M8 really worth the upgrade? What's the best camera? The Galaxy S5 or the Sony Xperia Z1? And when's Android coming to my phone? So many questions, so little time. But we've found a way to answer almost everyone's question. Yes, that's right, there's gonna be some major changes to Android Q&A, all good news though. You see, the challenge is that I have to choose questions that I feature here in the show that affect the broadest number of people. So that means that the questions are generally a little bit easier and the answers can be relatively short so that the show doesn't drag on, right? So that means that a lot of you who ask your questions never get the question answered. So we have a solution to that. It's in the Android Authority forums. We're gonna ask you please to post your questions there. I'm much more likely to select that question and feature it in the show if it's in the Android Authority forums in the Android Q&A section. I monitor all of those forums and there's more to it. If you post your question there, you have a chance to win a t-shirt. We'll, we'll give out a t-shirt every week, ship it or anywhere in the world. You just have to post it in the Android Authority forums. And if you are one of those people who are very knowledgeable at Android yourself, I know there's a lot of you out there, please answer those questions if you can. And when people thank you for it, it will up that answer in the uh, answer rankings, similar to Reddit, sort of. And then I'm much more likely to choose that answer and actually include it in the show and give you credit for it. But even better, you will be eligible to win a $50 Google Play gift card. We're gonna give those out once a month. So we're looking for the power of the crowd to help answer these questions. There's lots of people, a crazy number of people who have Android questions and some of them are simple, some are more complicated. So if you wanna exercise your Android chops, please go over to Android authority forums and help out and answer those questions. The first question deals with default apps. There's this really frustrating process in uh, Android 4.1 and 4.2 that is common where you are asked to choose your default app, you select always, and it keeps asking you over and over again. We're gonna help you solve that. To fix this annoying problem that sometimes occurs with Android 4.1 and 4.2, go to settings, then to apps or application manager, then to all apps, select the app in question or the app you want to remove as a default and scroll down to where it says clear defaults. Click that and Android should ask you to select your default the next time you wish to complete that particular task. Now, should that fail, you want to uninstall and reinstall that particular app. But even failing that, you may want to consider the default app manager Lite. Now, this allows you to automate some of this process. And although there are some mixed reviews on the Google Play Store, there were enough people saying that it was very helpful to solve this particular problem that I thought it was a good recommendation. Next question deals with carriers charging for data. Can carriers really block specific mobile app usage? The phone carrier in Singapore is planning to charge WhatsApp users extra unless they pay. So Kelvin, thanks for the question. And uh, I actually called Singapore Tel just to get some clarification on this. And yes, they are charging $6.42 per month if you use the WhatsApp and then they will allow you unlimited data within WhatsApp. Now, here in North America, most of the carriers will claim that they um, do not throttle you or they will only throttle you if your general data goes over your plan. They're not monitoring or they claim they don't monitor individual app usage. So here's the thing. I know there's lots of controversy about Singapore Tel charging extra for WhatsApp. But I gotta say, it sort of makes sense. If they're just gonna charge 642 and it's truly unlimited or it's a very, very high data cap, maybe it's worth it. You might want to consider that. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you here on Google Plus or Twitter, but especially in the Android Authority forums. Please check that out. If you have a question, please post them there. I'm much more likely to respond to it there or use that question in uh, an Android Q&A show. Don't wanna forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin, Chris, and Lon. They're all working hard for great Android content. I should see you next week on Android Q&A.